Welcome back to Go from Fort White Alive. Well, we, uh, we're standing at the top of the toboggan slide here. We asked for uh, a recognizable spot here at Fort White Alive. I think a lot of people will recognize the toboggan. This is always a really popular spot here. Pretty popular in the winter. We're closed now yeah. for the spring, <laughs> although I think we're still getting a little bit of winter today, this week maybe. Um, yeah. And a big, I, I mean, a big thing about Fort White Alive, um, a lot of things uh, remain the same, but a lot of things change over the years. And uh, you guys have some ex really exciting programming happening here. Uh, an exciting birthday as well, 50th anniversary coming up. Yeah, so um, April 24th, uh, we're celebrating Earth Day, which is actually April 22nd, 24th is on the weekend, better time to party. Uh, and it's, it's the 50th anniversary of the, um, the birth of Fort White through what was called the Wildlife Foundation of Manitoba. So uh, Fort White, the property was originally owned by a company called Canada Cement. Uh, the lakes behind us here were all quarries. Uh, they were used to mine clay to make cement. And we've got some of the old remnants of the industrial era, era over here. Um, and what happened is in the 50s, when there was flooding in Winnipeg, the quarries filled with water. They weren't quarries anymore. They were lakes all of a sudden. And uh, Wildlife Foundation of Manitoba was founded to, uh, to do conservation in the area. Fort White at first was uh, the Fort White Waterfowl Sanctuary. It was a place for people to come see geese. Uh, at the time, geese were um, and they're so ubiquitous now. We see them all over the place here. They're starting yeah. to nest. But at the time, um, some subspecies of geese, giant Canada geese, were thought to be extinct because they'd been hunted into oblivion. So um, people were trying really hard to restore the populations. And that's how we started. Uh, obviously, a lot has changed over the last 50 years. So on Earth Day, um, it's a free admission day. Uh, there's a lot of ways for people to get out here. I know it's tough if you don't have a car. It can be tough to get to this corner of the city, but we're doing free Winnipeg Transit shuttles, oh, awesome. uh, partnering with Bike Winnipeg to do a group bike ride out to the site. Awesome. Uh, we'll be encouraging people with a raffle if they walk or bike or all kinds of alternative transportation to get down here. Lots and, going on. And what, oh, when you say lots going on, what kind of things are going to be happening here? So it's a kind of a showcase day for us. Mm -hmm. um, it's a chance to, you know, it's, it's more about, um, about family fun you know we have lots of great night programs and stuff this is an opportunity yeah. for families especially for the first time uh, newcomers to come here see what we're about so you know we do voyager canoeing we do geocaching we do guided birding hikes kind of the whole the whole slate of offering um, free entertainment barbecue kind of a full day cool. and it's interesting that earlier you kind of said uh, a good day to party uh, Fort White has kind of um, uh, you guys have I like in, during the winter the lake party you have uh, concerts in the cabin it really has become kind of transformed itself uh, I mean education is still at the heart of what you guys do but you have kind of become this uh, destination for uh, a new generation of people it's really cool to see yeah I mean we're we are um, we're trying hard to give opportunities to everyone mm -hmm. and um, I think a lot of you know a lot of people have maybe thought in the past of Fort White as a place for kids on on field trips and and all of those other things we're doing are going to support environmental education. That's our mandate, but right. there's it's kind of an exciting time here to find new ways to do that. And if if the first touch is coming out and seeing JD Edwards play in the cabin yeah. with a small crew, like that's a really great first experience and we hope that it encourages people to come back and, and learn about sustainable living and learn about environmental education. Great. And where can people go for more information on what's happening for your 50th birthday, for Earth Day, and just for uh, any information at all, where should they go to get that? It's all online, fortwhite.org. Uh, we have online registration for all our programs. Everything we're doing is on our website. Great. Thanks so much, Will. You bet.